Global dimming is the widespread observation of a reduction in, of sunlight at the surface of the Earth. Um, this tends to happen in uh, cloud-free regions, so it's, it's uh, something that is uh, blocking sunlight uh, from the surface of the Earth. Global brightening occurs when pollution levels are, are reduced. Um, if you reduce the pollution levels, you reduce the blanket of pollution above uh, the surface of the Earth, which means that you get more sunlight at the surface of the Earth. And that's a global brightening. Uh, the whole world is not getting dimmer. Uh, some areas are continuing to show uh, global dimming trends, but some areas are actually uh, showing reversals, uh, where you're actually now getting global brightening. Areas that are getting, uh, continuing to uh, show global dimming tend to be areas where pollution is still increasing. Areas like Hong Kong, uh, the Far East, um, areas around Asia and uh, India, places like that are continuing to show dimming trends. Areas where there's uh, been a reversal to global brightening tend to be areas where pollution is being cleaned up, particularly areas over uh, Europe, places like that. Are, have, are showing now a reverse trend to global brightening. In a way, places like Hong Kong are showing um, continued global dimming um, because of the pollution that's being emitted in the environment close to China. Uh, so um, areas like China haven't uh, instigated a, a tremendous amount of uh, clean-up technology um, or certainly they, they not the levels of clean-up technology that have been going on over Europe uh, since about the mid-1980s. Uh, smog in the UK, the high, highest intensity of uh, smog events and low visibility events in the UK, tends to occur when we've got an easterly wind. This is when um, the industrial sources in Europe, um, the, the winds bring that pollution over the UK leading to, um, if you like, a dimming at that time when we've got the easterly winds. We know that global dimming and global uh, brightening is happening in various places because of the long records of observations that are taken at, in standard meteorological uh, surface-based observation sites. Um, these tend to measure the sunlight um, that's being received at the surface at any time of day and some of these are showing the global dimming trends and some of them are showing the global brightening trends. Yes, we think that the, the aerosol particles, which are tiny uh, microscopic particles uh, emitted from pollution, um, are the predominant cause of the global dimming and the global brightening phenomena. Recently there's been some nice evidence that has shown that uh, the, the global dimming and global brightening is also correlated to observations of atmospheric visibility. And visibility, uh, reductions in visibility are caused when there's a lot of pollution in the atmosphere. So that really is starting to um, conclusively prove that um, pollution is the main cause of global dimming and global brightening. Pollution has a, a lot of side effects. It's bad for human health. It also causes acid rain, um, which leads to a, um, a collapse of many uh, different ecosystems. So pollution in itself should be reduced. It's the causes of the global warming that really need to be addressed as well. Global dimming and global warming are, or appear to be linked. Um, global warming is caused by increases in greenhouse gas concentrations. However, if you also got um, a reduction in the amount of pollution in the atmosphere, so you're causing a global brightening, you're getting more sunlight through to the surface of the Earth, which causes an additional warming.